Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, solo the Eye of Cthulhu as a newer player. And by newer player, I mean the Iron Armor only. So in this video, I am just going to be using the Iron Armor set and three shackles. So the Iron Armor set will give you a, a total of nine defense, while the shackles, uh, three of them combined, will give you a total of three. You're also going to need one gold and one gold only, and probably not even that if you know how to aim your shurikens right. So this one gold will enable us to buy 10 lesser healing potions, which will heal us for 100, and 350 shurikens. Now 250 should be enough for this fight, but uh, if you're not a very good aim and you're not very confident, it's only an extra 20 silver to get the extra 100, and it's kind of a sure deal then. So as you can see, that only costed one, oh, that only cost us one gold. So, uh, the 100 health that the uh, Lesser Healing Potions actually give us isn't quite enough. So if you go down to these mushroom areas here, which can be found anywhere underground, you can obtain glowing mushrooms. By combining the glowing mushrooms with the Lesser Healing Potions at an alchemy station, you can craft the healing potions which will actually heal you for 200 health. And this is absolutely essential. You need this, otherwise you will not be able to kill the Eye of Cthulhu uh, with the Iron Armor. So we're only going to have three because um, we really don't need any more than that. And last but not least, uh, we're also going to have to craft one more alchemy potion, and that is the iron skin potion. So to do that, you're going to need one iron ore, which can be found anywhere, a day bloom, which can be found anywhere uh, where there's grass, and also a bottled water, which can be crafted just by standing in the water with an empty bottle or nearby. So this uh, buff will actually give us plus 8 armor, well at least that's what the tooltip says, for 5 minutes. However, it actually gives us plus 10 armor for 5 minutes, which is uh, which is much better. I'm not going to complain about that. It's a, it's a good kind of bug. So as you can see, there's a recipe there. And now we're ready to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. So in this video, I'm actually using the suspicious looking eye to summon the Eye of Cthulhu, uh, but however, it's important to note that if as long as you have over 200 health and over 3 NPCs living in your town, he will have a 33% chance to summon at night, assuming you haven't fought him before. Now because I have on this map, or on this character I should say, um, I actually had to use the uh, suspicious looking eye to summon him. But uh, I'm not really going to go into detail in that video because you're not really going to be able to obtain one uh, wearing only eye armor, it would be kind of difficult. So as you can see here um, with my setup, I'm using platforms and that's because the shurikens go through the platforms and I can also grab onto them with my grappling hook. Um, my grappling hook isn't essential but it's highly recommended because when he passes through me he's not going to knock me around because I'm stuck in the one spot. Now this does reset I think every minute and a half or every minute or something like that and you will have to uh, relatch on with the grappling hook. Yeah that's about it. Now for the start of the fight as you can see I'm only using my lesser healing potions and I'm only using them when I'm at about half health. That's because uh, I want to save my healing potions until the end fight. This is because uh, he actually gains a lot of damage uh, in the second phase of the fight, and I just want to be ready for that. So in phase one of the fight, he does 18 damage, and he has a defense of 6, um, and he also shoots out servants that will hit you for 23. However, the servants are pretty much exactly the same as the, uh, the demon eyes, but um, basically, they'll die in one hit from the shuriken, pretty much. So uh, they're really easy to hit, as or they're really easy to hit and kill and completely negate, as long as uh, you're constantly spamming the shurikens. So you can probably see it in the video. Every now and then, um, you'll see damage pop up for ten. That's me killing uh, one of the servants of Cthulhu. So we're almost at phase three here. Um, he goes into oh, sorry, phase two. He goes into phase two at. 1500 health and it's very easy to see because his eye basically turns into a giant mouth. Now this is the part when you're going to have to use the healing potions, but don't use them until you're on about one heart. So the, the, uh, the healing potions are essential here because his damage goes from 18 to 30, but uh, lucky for us his defense goes from 6 to 3, so he's twice as easy to kill, but uh, he also hits you a lot harder. So by constantly just spamming your, your shurikens um, and just making sure you keep your health topped up throughout the whole fight, you'll be able to take him down quite easily. Now as you can see, I am starting to run out of shurikens, but uh, 
luckily for me, um, I still have that extra 100 if I need to. And you might have seen before that uh, another good thing about having this set up here is if you have a wooden platform underneath, you can actually go down to the bottom and collect the shurikens. When the shurikens actually hit an object, I think they have a 50% chance to be destroyed and a 50% chance to uh, stay alive. So there we have it. That's I have Cthulhu defeated and he drops Demonite Ore which will help you uh, kind of moving or progressing through the game. If this video helped, feel free to comment, like, subscribe and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Enjoy.